showing people how um, people in Iran are just like us and they're the same. They're still people and they do the same things as us. They're just from a different country. And even though they're from a different country, we don't have to make war against them and we should treat them the way they treat us. could stand shoulder to shoulder, stand face to face, and see one another. And I wanted to create a place where we could set aside our nationality, our religion, and just come together in one place and, and see if we could feel our common humanity. I draw the curtain, there's no innocence left in my silhouette. I walked in, I, I, I had no idea what to expect. It's wonderful. It's awesome. And you get the message exactly what this, this is trying to accomplish as soon as you walk in. I think it's. I, I'm just breath, breathless still. Well, I broke down sobbing in the middle of it. I was so moved by the beauty of the images and uh, the thought that we might actually throw nuclear bombs at these people. At this vibrant culture, made me weep. In a lot of ways, it would have been much easier to do this as a gallery show, but it wouldn't have worked because we needed this to be something that people hadn't seen before, something that would knock them loose a little bit from the way that they're oriented and open up the possibility that they would experience this with their eyes and with their hearts rather than just with their brains. We've tried to draw on elements of traditional Persian architecture. We have an octagonal room, which is the place in a traditional Persian, Persian home where guests would be welcomed. That's right at the center of the installation trying to welcome our visitors there. In the wings of the installation, we've tried to recreate the experience of walking through the bazaar and literally brushing shoulder to shoulder with the people of Iran. We wanted Americans to have that experience in a very intimate space. Just the way that you could see through the images and see the other people around and yet still capture the, the, the vision behind the artist trying to just present that person right in front of you. And then the ones in the middle where the wind kind of will, will, they'll actually like walk towards you with the way the wind is moving. I just found that really kind of, that style just prophetic. I like best that it, that the message is there, but it's it's overlaid on all the surroundings. And I think that's, that's, a, that's what this is. It's like all, how we look at the world and people around us who are different than us um, reflected on what we see in, every day. This is, this is where we live, this is where I live. You can look through a man praying in a mosque and see the, you know, the, the Colorado State Capitol building through that, that panel. I mean, to be able to juxtapose images of Iranian citizens and scenes from Iran literally on the American landscape, it's, it's magical and it really was something that I needed to be able to do and it was something that we couldn't have done a year ago. Uh -huh. is about Iran. The show, the project, is about the United States, for me. It's about taking an unflinching and compassionate look at where we are as a country. It's important to me to document how Americans respond when you stand up and say that Iranians are human beings too. 
mean, what does it say about our representative democracy if it turns out the overwhelming majority of Americans can feel compassion for Iranian citizens? And what does it say about us as a culture if we can't? The, your photographs, like I said, they are outstanding. They are tugging at a person's heart. Who here can say they weren't? I mean, as I walked through them, I thought, wow. But again, I can't be led by emotion. I would hate for a president to be led by emotion. Uh, the fact is that uh, we can't see these people's hearts, and that is where the problem is. Muslim religion, Muslim countries will never, never be able to have peace and order. It doesn't come by treaties, you know, by po politicians. That's why also we are out here preaching, you know. I'll just be near you. you know, we showed this show in a small town in Colorado. We showed it in uh, the Democratic National Convention in Denver. What happens if we take the show to the Kansas State Fair? You know, what happens if we show it at a NASCAR event? How are people going to respond? What are we going to learn about our own culture when we show the show in venues like that to an audience that isn't expecting to see this kind of art? I have heart, I have murdered in the dark just to be it's beautiful, it's very powerful. I believe um, it's absolutely necessary that more awareness is made to the American people about Iranian and Islamic culture in general. I mean, it's been so demonized for the last several years, needlessly and really unjustifiably. So, uh,